All right, guys, I'm going to keep this video short here. So many of you guys have been following our channel here, and you guys saw us convert this trailer into a kind of a travel trailer like this. It's got AC, heat, refrigerator, sink, and lights, and plugins, and things like that. Now, the problem with this trailer is that it's not truly what you call an off-grid because it doesn't have any batteries or solar power source to operate any of the appliances in here. Uh, you need a um, an AC AC type power, a generator, or a shore power. And we did that intentionally because to run uh, off-grid, like a solar power battery, lithium ion battery, all that setup, you're gonna run into like thousands of dollars. And plus, if you guys did do your research on how long it takes to charge your battery from our solar panels, well, it, it takes forever to charge those batteries. It just, so it just kind of made no sense to go down that route, especially when I got a Honda generator. I can go anywhere, fart my generator, and run my trailer, no problem. But the problem is there are a lot of campsites where they don't have shore power or they'll allow generators, but they don't allow you to run your generators for more than a few hours a day. So we're here at this campsite in Monterey and they only allow generators to operate for two hours per day. So that's fine. But then again, what are you going to do for the rest of the day when you need power, right? So let me, you guys, let me show you guys the best solution that I found and I hope you guys will like it too. So let me flip the camera around. Most of you are familiar with this inverter, right? It takes your DC power from your car or truck uh, and then converts it to AC 110 or 120. So this is a pretty powerful inverter. It's a 3000 watt continuous, but it peaks at 6,000. So when your heater's kicking on or AC's kicking on, this has got enough watts to carry that load. And once that AC or the heater kicks on, it'll the voltage or the wattage will drop down and, and this can handle pretty much whatever that's in the trailer right there. So this is uh, this was bought on Amazon for just just over $200. Um, and it comes with this really heavy duty cables that connects right to the battery. Now keep in mind, this may not be ideal set for everybody, but this works great for us and I just wanna share this with you. So I got a, a dual battery setup here, okay, for many reasons. So this allows me to run this inverter off my Jeep and here's my nest of wires and I got my 30 amp you know plug right there okay <clears throat> and I currently have my uh, inverter on as you guys can see it's uh, my, my battery's at 12 volts but output is 121 so that's your AC current current is 120 so let's go to the trailer let me show you guys what I can run here pretty much all day without having to turn on the Jeep to recharge the battery. So I'm charging my computer up here. We got the refrigerator running. I can run the heater right here. Okay. And that puts out a lot of heat. My wife was taking a nap this morning. We had the heater on, no problem. I've got lights, okay. And I have water. I mean, maybe it's not plugged in. Anyways, I can run all of this on that inverter. Now, what I can't do is run my my AC and a heater at the same time. I tried; it does blow the switch, um, but I never need to use this when I go camping. Uh, and this is a heater and an AC combo. So basically, I got two heaters or just an AC. So. What do you guys think? And there's no rule against running your car all night. Not that I would, but look at this setup in a pinch. So one of the best things about this setup is that you can just turn the car on to charge the battery. So you can literally run this thing all day as long as you have gas in your car and it'll charge the battery and power your trailer. How sweet is that?